Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gigi and as you can see, we're going to start with a white base and move straight into pigments. There's only one coat of that white. Uh, it's by Jelixer. That just shows you how good it is. It really just, it covers perfectly. So if you're wanting a one coat white, I would try some Jelixer. And it actually comes in a two pack where you get the polish as well, the plain polish. So if you don't like to wear gel on your toes, um, and you do your own toes and I don't because I don't like filing it off later uh, So I just use regular polish on my toes. So it's it's nice to get that So I'm putting down a base coat here and we're going to do a second coat I like the more pastel colored look, but it's a summery set, right? We're doing summer nails now. So I didn't want That muted color palette. I wanted something really in your face So that's why we're coming in with a second coat of the pigments I really like that technique where you um, rub your pigment into a paper towel a little bit before you use it because it breaks it up and makes the, the particles a little more fine. And I have to give Votino the credit for showing me that because I saw it in his videos. So I, I'm just really a fan of doing that because it really richens, richens, riches or enriches your color. It makes it more rich is what I mean to say, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so once we get this all done, then we're gonna start some hand-painted art. And this time what we're gonna do is a little bit of evil eye protection nails. Um, my One of my granddaughters is in love with the evil eye uh, bracelets and things, and she just bought a necklace when we went to um, First Friday this month. And, um, so uh, I, I just decided what a fun set to do for, for nails, right? What a fun set that would be. So we're coming in, and as you can see, I use the back end of one of my brushes, and I do that a lot with this set because I want some bigger circles, and I don't have any dotting tools that size. So flip around a brush and use it. Uh, this was a flat back. It was a round, but with a flat brush excuse me, with the back was flat, so it totally worked, but a rounded uh, backed brush also works, or handled, handled brush, whatever, whatever. It all works. If it's a circle, you can dot with it, so don't be afraid to try unconventional things to get the size dot that you're looking for. This dot we're going to turn into a raindrop. It, you could think of it as just a water drop, but I, I'm thinking of it as rain. We're going to do a few of these. Not all of them that big, though. Now, this one, we're just going to come in and do dots. Now, um, that's all the evil eye protection symbol is. Dots in, dots in, dots. But it makes an eye. And that symbol, when I was looking it up, that symbol is ancient. It goes back to our ancient ancestors. It is across cultures all peoples have used some sort of eye symbol and and usually something very similar to this as as a protection spell when i was a kid growing up in new mexico we used to make ojos a lot which is also another eye symbol but you make it with string or yarn or leather strips or whatever wrapped around um, sticks and i'm sure you know what that looks like but um so you the eye symbol and that protection that you get from that eye, that goes across all the people of the world. And so using a symbol like this really just connects you to your ancestors and brings that energy into your life. And so that what that is part of what really excited me about doing this set. And it really making all of the circles all the dots and putting them inside of each other it was kind of meditative for me i really found it to be a super enjoyable situation so don't be afraid to try a set like this it does mm, all those dots are raised up though so you do actually get kind of a rounded eye situation you can see right there even with this big one it's a little raised up, but the little ones get even more raised up than the big ones. So, because the polish is just on top of each other. So, that's one thing. I don't know why this just came into my head. But I always wonder, how many times can you paint a wall before it's unusable? Like, like the room gets 
really small, right? How many layers or coats of paint does it take to like close a room off? <laughs> Isn't I've always considered that. I've always thought about that because people just paint and paint and paint. And of course, the layers are super thin, but just like a hundred coats of polish, at some point it gets untenable. So now I did not show you every single uh, evil eye that I did. And I am turning three of them into actual eyes, as you saw there. Uh, but I, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of the actual eyes, maybe a dozen. So I didn't want to show every single one because that gets really, ah, uh, yawn. But um, three of them are turning into eyes. And then we're going to take those eyes and turn them into flowers. So we're making a little evil eye protection garden party sort of situation. There you go. So we're coming in with our petals and I'm sorry that I did not angle myself in such a way that you could see those going down. But here you go. Here we go. Here's a few anyway. Not there. Not there. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I really love you. But we're going to go ahead and come in and just drag those down and make petals. Uh, it's real easy to get that on top of the green. So once you finish, just come with a tiny brush and just wipe away any color that you got on the green. Just be super, super soft and gentle with it. Um, if my shaky sorry butt can do it, you can do it. You've got this. Um, I, I actually, when I started doing the set, I thought it would make the petals a little fatter and more touching each other. But as I was doing it, they, they started coming out skinnier like this. And I felt like it gave it more of a almost psychedelic alien quality. And so I left it like that. I really, I dig the vibe of it. And it almost actually looks like water drops. So I feel like a really pretty evil eye set with like dripping water down would be really cool. Maybe that's something we'll do soon for a short or something because I can't get this imagery out of my head and I can just see so many different ways you could incorporate this symbol into into a set or into art or a, a lot of a lot of different things you could use it for. So my my brain is sizzling around the idea of it. Uh, I'm gonna come in and make little flowers out of these two eyes that I made on the other nails. Now on these two, I didn't actually connect the petals on the bottom. I don't know why. I, just as I saw it there as dots, I just was like, oh, I, I like that, how the top is connected and the bottom is just dots. It, I, I dug the vibe of it. So now I'm not sure why I put the dots of the yellow down and then went straight to the dots of the pink and then came back and made the petals. I don't know why. As I started editing, uh, editing the video, sorry, I can't speak today, um, and my voice is going out, guys. I'm really sorry. But as I was doing the edit, I was like, what was I thinking there? <laughs> it just cracked me up. I'm like, what is going on in your brain? So anyway, we're coming in and making the stems, the actual plant part. Well, the flower is a plant, too. I don't know. Anyway, the stems and, and the, the base of the plant. The base of the plant. Uh, so... We're just going to go ahead and make a, a nice little swooshy uh, stem for our flower. And then off of that, we are going to go ahead. And I'm just putting these in my hand so I have a visual of where I want everything to go. That was all. I like to, to have a visual clue of what I want to do. Um, if I just did it, I would probably put it in the wrong place. Been there, done that, learned my lesson the hard way. So after making the um, stems, we're going to go ahead and just make a few leaves on there and then give it a little cure. And same thing with the other ones. We're just going to make some lovely stems and add a few of these pretty little leaves, which honestly, I kind of wish I'd done a different color now. But live and learn, that's just a live and learn situation. But then we're going to do the same thing on the other flowers. And I'm just going to show you that all completed. 
And then I was doing the top coat and I realized in my little brain that what I have in my gem drawer is some blue gems that match this set so well. So I decided why not stick a few in that top coat? So that's what we're going to do. Um, I think you could do without them. It would be fine. But a little bling floating through the nails. I think it looks pretty cute. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there. Uh, today's video is a little longer than I've been trying to do lately, but this set has a lot in it. And even with all the stuff I cut out, if I hadn't shown you, you know, how I made the, the, the eyeballs and how I made the flowers and stuff, it I think it would have been a bummer. So I just let it be a little bit longer than my normal videos lately. And this is the finished set. Guys, I hope that the extra time was worth it because I'm in love with this set. I think it came out so, so cute. I did not put any gems in the pinky because I thought it was full enough. It already had enough stuff. And I could not really figure out where to put it that made it look cute. So I didn't. Um... Would you wear this? Is this uh, way too much for you? Because it is a lot. There's a lot going on. It's super psychedelic, a little bit funky, uh, and a lot fun. So I hope you like it as much as I do. Guys, we're going to see you next week for more stuff. Mwah! Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,